Okay guys, I'm back with step one, and uh, remember I did say this is going to be a very beginner's guide. Um, or this is actually part two, I guess the first part was just an intro on what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be taking out this motherboard and that dirty fan that seriously needs some dusting. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take that out, and then we are going to uh, put in the... Asus 970 Pro Gaming Aura, the AMD FX8370, and 16 gigabyte of Crucial Ballistics Tactical Tracers LED RAM. Uh, that's 1600 megahertz, I believe, and it is 88824 on the CL. So, okay, guys, uh, CL is CAS latency, in case uh, anybody was wondering. So I would recommend getting one of these uh, little screwdriver sets here. Uh, you can find these all over the places at auto parts stores. I picked up mine from uh, Harbor Freight. I don't know if you guys have one of those where you're from. Harbor Freight's a great little store, uh, awesome place to get things super cheap. I don't even think I paid like $3 for this whole set. And uh, a lot of them, uh, the little nut drivers and stuff, uh, fit computer uh, parts really good so um, the reason that I'm recommending this is because one of these right here fits the uh, motherboard standoff screws really well so and also you don't need uh, big screwdrivers because you don't want to be cranking down uh, too hard on anything and damaging your motherboard so okay uh, so what we're going to do is start taking these screws out here and uh, they're all over the motherboard here. Of course, the processor and RAM is already pre installed on this from an uh, earlier build I had done, so we're going to have to take that off of there. So, I guess in this video, I can also show you guys how to properly install and uninstall sticks of RAM. I know this ain't the best quality video and it never is at Papa Games, but it's real. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this one's a little tight, so. Set you guys down here for a minute. Okay, we got that one loose, so we should have all the screws loose now. Just going to kind of give it a little tug on each of the corners to make sure everything's loose. Get the SATA cable disconnected. The way you do that is there's a little prong right here, and you just kind of push it in and then pull the SATA cable up out of the slot. Okay. I think that's about everything. So we're going to, well, I got one that's kind of hanging up here a little bit. Okay, that should be all of them now. You can do this a lot better with two hands, really. <laughs> okay, so now everything's loose. And these are the motherboard standoffs I was telling you guys about and the reason that I recommended the kit is because these little nut drivers fit these standoffs great and make them easy to twist in or to get out so uh, highly recommend getting you one of those sets because you want to make sure that your standoffs are uh, screwed in really good because the screw on the top side of your motherboard is going to be going into those so okay guys i'm gonna end this video on that one and uh we'll continue on with how to do these uh motherboard standoffs when i come back all right